Hello everyone, it's me, not Deanne. We're going to do a little something different this month. So for the merry month of May, Annie and I decided I'm going to do a challenge for her. So, beginning of each week, I'm going to pick one of her palettes, and then she gets to use only that palette for her eyeshadow for the rest of the week. So her... I've been rummaging through her drawers over here. Yes, she has been watching. Make sure I didn't get anything too far out of place on her. And I found her first palette. The Bad Habit Aura palette. Since she does like her bright colors, there she goes. She'll get to use all her bright colors, glitters and mattes, for this next week. Now we'll get to see what she gets to do next week. Hello, everybody. This time it really is me. Hi. Yes, my darling husband gave you the basic setup with once a week. He's going to be picking out through one of my palette collection a palette that I don't get to pick. The only um, variation that happens is if the palette I've got does not have a lot of materials in it like it's a four pan or something and that four pan is all shim shimmers he either gets to pick out a second palette that i have to use as the companion or i get to grab stuff out of the drawer like the loose pigments and that kind of stuff but i figured this would be a fun challenge do something a little bit different you know we've got a lot of people doing the palette bingos and that kind of stuff. And I'm going, yeah, yeah, I could do palette bingo. I could set up one of the randomizers. And I think my husband's probably about as random as you can get when he starts going through the collection. <laughs> so I've got my foundation off and a little powder and the SPF and the moisturizer and the primer and da 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 so now I'm going to pick up my palette the aura palette he's already shown you what's on the inside I'm going to show you again just in case you forgot already Now, on the monitor, the colors in here are definitely not translating into the film, at least onto the monitor, very well. So, post-production, I will hopefully be able to do a little better so you can actually see what the colors are. However... I'm starting with my AOA Studio white because I haven't used the white in a bit. And if you start freaking out because I'm using my fingers, I'm going to remind you we had fingers first. And that if you don't like the feel of the material on your fingers for any length of time, get a wet wipe. Get a makeup remover wipe. It's simple. See? Just like that. La 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 la. La 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 la. I'll do this one. Get all the stuff. 
put the lid back on, get a finger, do the thing. Wipe the finger off. Yep, pretty even. Yes, I've brightened right under my eyes. I had concealer down, but I didn't sleep so well last night, so I've got the, the bags from you know where. Okay. Let's see, where am I going to start? Where do I want to go? Ah! Okay. Yesterday, when I did, well, yesterday's film, when I did the creams, I went purple. Let's see where I want to go today. That looks pretty good. I'm going to start right here with a kind of a pale pumpkin-y color called Awakening. And just start with the tap and the slide. It's a tap and a slide. La 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 la. La 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 la. Now, remember, if you got a hooded eyes regardless of where your natural fold is if you want people to see the colors you've got to be above it yeah like that Figure out your shapes, because even with hooded eyes, your shapes are going to be different. Your eyes are different shapes from everybody else's. It's the way it is. And on top of that, nobody is bloody symmetrical. You have two eyes. You are not symmetrical, however. You really aren't. If you look closely at my face, this eye is lower. This one droops at the corner different. I'm a mess. Because even though this one is technically a bit lower, because of the angle and droop on this one, this one looks lower. One little spot right there that doesn't like to take color because it's an odd 
It's kind of an odd divot there. Just kind of a divot. Pretty good so far. Now, I'm going to pick up this color called Mystique, which is basically a couple of shades darker than the one I just started with. Darken up the outer corner. Yes, I'm not talking as much as I probably should because I'm concentration phase. Trying to get the color level pretty even too, just for the heck of it. Not like I should have even color anywhere. Ooh, me. Okay, that looks about right. Sort of. Drag a little bit of that under while I'm here. Just a tad. All right, not really seeing any fallout, which is a good thing. Now, I'm going to get bright. Because there's a rather intense yellow in this palette. And it's a bright, sunshiny day. That was my phone going kadingle. And I'm going to start right here on the inner portion of the lower lid and just start tapping this in. And let it mix and mingle as it feels like. Now, the yellow has a bit more kick up and dust to it, which is not really bothering me, because most of it's staying in the pan. But I'm going to be keeping a little closer eye on looking for fallout on the lids. Run that right up under that lower lash. And 
and then go over here to the t'other side and do it again. Now I'm just patting this in and letting it mix, blend, or otherwise as it happens to fall. Use my color switch real quick. And just to be doing, I'm going to put just a little bit of this glitter called Soul. along with that yellow. I don't want a lot of glitter though. I'm more just thinking of thinking of it as kind of a reflection. Just kind of spritz it a little and tap it over right there in that corner. I don't know, I may have to tap just a little over here too, just for the heck of it. So I've got kind of a halo shape here, but the glitter is on the exterior of the halo shape instead of on the interior. I told you I'm contrary. I gotta do things a little different. La 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 dee 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 dee. Dee 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 dee. Okay, pat that in that corner. Pat some over here. Gold down on the bottom, just because. Alrighty, I think that's actually looking pretty good. What do you think? No, really, tell me. What do you think? All right, I'm going to slide off for a couple of seconds. Well, in your, your land, 
I'll slide off for a couple of seconds. Do the mascara. Do some line work. And probably finish the rest of my face except for the lippy. What do you think of that? I'll save the highlighter and the lippy for you. How about that? See you in a minute. Alrighty. I got a little ahead of myself. I'm a bad, bad girl. Anyway, this is the highlighter I used. This is my Ofra Star Island that I got in one of my Ipsy bags. It's one of my favoriteest things and one of the reasons that even though I've got a relatively tight budget, I'm keeping my Ipsy. Um, but beautiful champagne -y color. So, yeah, I got a little ahead of myself. I've already done my highlighter. I got the bling. I got the bling. However, I did try really, really hard to remember to keep my lippy. This is from the Clean Color Femme line, and it's called Chocolate. Now, see why I did that? See that? Let's hope it actually works on my mouth. thinking that looks pretty good together. I'll have to see what the hubby thinks. But what do y'all think? Think I did him proud? Think I did me proud? A little challenge. Now, the rest of the week, as often as I am able, I will be doing more looks out of the Aura palette. Let me know what you think. No, really. Tell me what you think. If you like it, tell me. If you don't like it, tell me. But tell me why. Don't just go, ooh, iggly, ooh, ick, ick. I need more feedback than that. Now, I'm going to hold up the palette one more time. If you see something in here that you think I might ought to use, give me a suggestion. I'll see if I can get it in towards the end of the week. After all, I have to face the challenge, too, so. Anyway. Glam 60 strikes again. Don't forget, I'm on a budget. I have no bail money. Be good. <laughs>